Hello and welcome to another FMOD tutorial. In this video we're going to look at getting FMOD integrated into a Unity project. The FMOD Unity integration works on a project level, which means the process won't affect any other projects you might have. Once we've got FMOD integrated, we'll test things are working correctly by triggering a simple event to play. For the purposes of this video, we'll be creating a new Unity project to demo the integration process. But if you're integrating FMOD into an existing project, then you can obviously skip this step. The rest of the process will be the same. We'll open the Unity Hub, switch to the Project section, and use the New Project button to create our project. I'm going to use the Universal 3D template, which is a super basic empty project, but will allow us to go through the integration process. I'll set the project's name and location, and then click the Create Project button. Once Unity has created the project, we can now move on to the next step. Now we need to go and download the correct FMOD integration. If we go to fmod.com slash download and expand the FMOD for Unity menu, we can access all of the different integrations for the various versions of FMOD. I'm using the latest version of FMOD, which is version 2.03.05, which as we can see supports all versions of Unity from 2021.3 and higher. So as I'm using Unity 6, this is the version I'll be using for this video. If you're using different versions of FMOD or Unity, then you'll need to make sure that you use the correct plugin to match your versions, but the process should be the same. There's only one download option regardless of operating system, so it's simply a case of clicking the download button to start downloading the Unity package file. To get FMOD integrated into the Unity project, we use the Assets menu and go to Import Package, Custom Package. We then navigate to our file that we just downloaded, select it and hit Open. In the pop-up window, we can see all of the files that will be imported as part of the FMOD integration and we can simply click on Import. We can see that the FMOD plugin has been imported correctly as we're presented with the FMOD Setup Wizard pop-up. At this point we'll pause and switch over to FMOD so that we can set things up there and then we'll come back and finalise the integration. Now we need to create an FMOD project and set this up to populate its banks to the correct location for our project. So launch FMOD and either select an existing project or as I'm doing create a new project. In your project go to Edit Preferences and switch to the Build tab. Use the Browse button to navigate to your Unity project folder and then create a new folder called FMOD. With this folder selected, use the Select Folder button to set the built banks output directory. Now when we build our banks within FMOD, they'll be built within our Unity project's asset structure and so will be accessible within Unity. We'll create a new event, add an action sheet, and then drag in a sound to create a simple ambient style event that we can use for testing purposes. Now we've got our event in place, we need to assign it to a bank so that FMOD will build it out for use within Unity. Every FMOD project comes with a single master bank already set up, but it's good practice to set up your own banks instead. Depending on the nature of your project, you could have one large bank that contains all of your events, or you could split things up by the nature of the events you're creating. For example, we've just created a basic ambience event, so let's right click the event, go to assign to bank, and then choose new bank, and create a new bank called Ambience. Once we've done that, the next time we want to add to that bank, it will be available in the Browse option. The next step is to build our bank so that the event we just created is available for use within our Unity project. So go to File, Build, to build the project's banks within the Unity project's FMOD folder that we just created. Now that we've got everything set up in FMOD, we can switch back to Unity and finalize the integration process. The FMOD Setup Wizard will help us get everything configured within Unity so that the game will use the bank we just created to allow us to access our FMOD event, add in an FMOD listener so we can hear our audio, as well as disable the built-in Unity audio systems to prevent any potential conflicts. We'll click the Start button, and then just skip the Update section as we're starting with empty projects and a fresh integration, so we'll just click Next. On this window, we can choose how we want to link our FMOD project to the Unity project. We could link the complete FMOD Studio project, but then if we're working across a team, then everyone would need to have access to our FMOD project. 
The simplest method is to link to just the built banks for the project, as then you would only need to have to share these. We'll click on the single platform build, as we've left the build options in FMOD at the default values, and then move into the FMOD folder we created earlier, and select the desktop folder. The wizard will verify that this is correct, and we can click next to move to the next step. In order to be able to hear the FMOD events we add to the game, we need to have an FMOD listener within the scene. This is usually located on the main camera. The wizard should automatically find any Unity listeners and replace these with FMOD listeners. You just need to click the button. Once we've done that, the step will turn green and we can click next again. It's recommended to disable the built-in Unity audio system to avoid conflicts. So just click the disable button and then we click next to move on. There are no existing Unity audio sources within our project, so we can just click next and we're not setting up version control, so we can click next again. We're then presented with a summary which confirms the setup process is success and we can close the wizard. If you ever need to go back through these settings again, you can access the wizard from the FMOD menu. You can also use the FMOD edit settings option to access the various integration settings. For example, whether the FMOD debug overlay is enabled which gives you useful information such as channel count and memory usage. Now we can check that our banks are built correctly within our Unity project by opening the FMOD Event Browser and expanding the Banks and Events folders. We can check things have worked properly by clicking on our event and using the play button to preview the event. And then stop to stop the playback. The final test is to add our FMOD event to the scene and test that it plays correctly. So we'll create an empty game object within our scene and add an FMOD Studio Event Emitter component. We'll then use the search button to find our event and assign it to the emitter component. Now we just need to define the event's play trigger. We'll use object start so that the event will start playing as the game is started. Now we can just click play and hear our ambience event playing back. We can also see that the debug overlay is showing us our memory usage and channel count. To recap, we've covered how to integrate the FMOD plugin within a Unity project, set the build location for our banks within FMOD, and verify that our events have been built out successfully. See you in the next video.